Hello everyone. Welcome to AVLSI lecture number 40.2. Uh, today we are going to discuss about modified cascode OPAM and a triple cascode OPAM. So let's begin with the topic. So in the last lecture, we have discussed about telescopic cascode OPAM but a single ended output. And this was the configuration. So basically it has a very high gain and but the limitation was it has a reduced voltage swing. So today's in today's lecture, we will discuss about a modified telescopic cascode OPAM. So as you can see clearly over here, your M7 gate connection is directly connected to the drain terminal of M5, right? It is bypassed uh, through that and is directly connected to the drain terminal of M5 transistor. And this was the previous network where M M7 and M5 were individually diode connected. But here in this case, M5 and M6 are biased uh, by an external voltage VB2 and M7 is a diode connected one. Okay, so that is the modification. Let's see in detail how it goes. So uh, in the cascode OPAM, which we have seen earlier over here, the drawback of this was that uh, the output voltage swing is reduced, right? So the circuit zone in 42.2.1, which is over here, is the modified cascode OPAM right that provides a higher voltage swing in comparison to the earlier circuit right and uh, why it provides higher it will save one threshold voltage from the output swing we can refer the you know uh, avlsi lecture number 24.2 and why this modified one will provides the better voltage swing okay so the circuit shown in the figure 39.2.3 that is over here so this will have a output voltage v out max will be given by i mean the voltage vx first of all the voltage vx will be given by vdd minus vsg7 minus vsg5 okay so that was the vx voltage vdd minus vsg5 minus vsg7 limiting the maximum output value to VDD minus VSG5 minus VSG7 plus threshold voltage for a PMOS. So therefore it was wasting one PMOS transistor threshold voltage in the output swing. Now to resolve this issue, what we do is your M7 and M5 transistor are modified such that your PMOS cascode current mirror provides a maximum output voltage swing without the PMOS threshold voltage wastage. Okay, and over here, uh, that's the modified section, right? Rest of the working will remain absolutely same. And VB2 will be responsible for biasing M6 and M7, I mean, M5 and M6 transistors, PMOS transistors in saturation. So except this modification, the working remains the same. Therefore, the voltage gain of this telescopic cas modified telescopic cascode amplifier, uh, cascode OPAM will be given by AV is approximately given by minus of GMN into GMN into RON square parallel to GMP into ROP square. So that's the small signal, uh, you know, low frequency gain. And we, we are having over here the single ended output. Hence your gain AV is V out divided by differential input V in one minus V in two. Okay. So this modification, which we are doing over here will save one threshold voltage uh, value from the output swing. So that's the advantage. Okay. So now let's move on to the uh, triple cascode OPAM, right? So we have seen in the earlier one that uh, this was a telescopic cascode OPAM with differential output, right? Now, if I want to enhance my gain further, I can stack one more transistors over the top. And this becomes my triple cascode OPAM as shown in the figure. As you, as you can see in comparison to the left-hand side and to the right-hand side, to the left-hand side, we have a triple cascode OPAM. And on the right-hand side, we have a telescopic cascode op amp with differential output. Okay, so only difference is we have stacked M6 and M5 transistor over M3 and M4. And here also we have stacked M11 and M10, uh, I mean, uh, M11 and M12 transistors over M7 and M8, basically over here, right? So that's the difference. And uh, what it will do is uh, to, uh, this additional devices stacked will increase the R out value, right? And this is called as a triple cascode. So the circuit shown over here is called as a triple cascode op-amp with differential output. So we have, uh, uh, this is done to increase the R out value and hence the gain value. 
So over here, M1 to M6 transistors are matched and M7 to M12 transistors are matched. So we have over here in total uh, six NMOS transistors and six PMOS transistors. So GM of one to six, that is from M1 to M6, we call it as GMN. GM of seven to 11, we call it as GMP. RO one to six, we call it as RON. And RO seven to 12, we call it as ROP. So when we do that, we can apply the half circuit concept because still this is a differential amplifier, right? So we can easily apply the half signal concept and we can derive the voltage gain. We are not deriving it over here. You can, you're free to do that. So the voltage gain will come out to be, the differential voltage gain will come out to be approximately equal to minus of GMN into GMN into RON cube parallel to GMP into ROP cube. Okay, so as you can see, the gain has increased to tremendously higher value. But uh, the problem is that it will reduce the output voltage swing further. So this is my differential voltage gain. And if you see carefully, your M3, M4, M5, M6, M7, M8, M9, M10, and M11 and M12 are biased with an external biasing supply. VB1, VB2, VB3, VB4, VB5. Right, so that extra circuit is required. So that's why uh, we have to uh, have an extra biasing circuit required from VB1 to VB6. They can be equal, but still extra circuit is required. And the output voltage swing of a triple cascode is very much limited. So that's the major drawback. And uh, we can replace the ideal current source with M13 transistor. Right, that's a NMOS transistor. And uh, I mean, it will provide a constant current provided it's working in the saturation region, uh, which will make sure by VB7, will make sure that M13 operates in the saturation region. And let's call VOD as an overdrive voltage. Now, if I have to calculate the output swing, V out one minimum, what will be V out one minimum? It will be overdrive voltage for M5 plus M3 plus M1 plus M13. So that's what we have written over here. V out one minimum will be VOD one plus VOD three plus VOD five plus VOD 13. And uh, what will be V out one maximum value? So V out one max will be VDD minus overdrive voltage of M7 minus overdrive voltage of M9 minus overdrive voltage of M11. So this is my V out one max. So your single ended or one ended output swing will be uh, v out one will be equal to VDD minus. Uh, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven overdrive voltages, right? And here we can see uh, your differential output voltage swing will be twice that swing, single-ended output swing. So your V out will be equal to twice of VDD minus seven overdrive voltages. Okay. So with seven overdrive voltages subtracted from the VDD in the circuit, it is difficult to operate the circuit from a supply of three volt or lower while obtaining a reasonable output swing. So that's the major drawback of this triple cascode op-amp, right? It has a very, very poor output swing. Other than that, it provides a tremendously high voltage gain, but it comes at a heavy cost of reduced voltage swing. So yeah. So what is the uh, I mean, summary? So summary is that if we stack more transistors to increase the R out, the gain will increase, but it will come at a heavy price of uh, reduced output voltage swing. Okay, so that's about your triple cascode op-amp. And uh, we have completed the today's topic on a modified cascode op-amp with single-ended output and triple cascode op-amp with differential output. So that's all for today. Next time we'll start with folded cascode op-amp. Okay, so thank you for joining and have a good day.